Uh, my name is Gregory. I'm born Jamaican. Now I'm living in Florida and I like to plant sorrel. They call me the sorrel king. <laughs> I, I got red, a lot of red sorrel. Now I have white sorrel. I'm going to save the seed from these to plant next year. The juice tastes the same. It, the only thing is the sorrel. This one is red. You got a red juice and a clear juice. And I got a lot of sorrel over here. Sorrel and gumbo peas. Yeah. Look at that. They bear so much. All, all organic. No fertilizer. No spray. Nothing. It's all natural. From the sun. <laughs> yeah. These are my okras. Yeah, I already read them. I, I eat so much okras. Oh my god. Mm. Yeah, they're good. All good stuff. You gonna go the back, Charlie? This is the white cereal. Yeah, um, we don't have a lot of this, so I'm gonna get the seed and um, plant some next year. But they take and uh, the Jamaicans, if they see all this cereal, they'll know what it is. You know, it's yeah. it's it's a Christmas um, thing that um, every Christmas they plant cereal and Christmas. We, they reap the sorrel and sell it and then we they would make the juice and, uh, and we would have the sorrel to drink on Christmas day yeah and eat you know all Christmas we would have sorrel on the table the juice yeah and I have two two kind of sorrel look I have more coconut growing all over see I have one I have one there this is another kind of sorrel that one is uh this one is dark red that one is uh, red you know the the color of the sorrel yeah this one it gives you a darker juice ah. yeah much darker and if we go here this is where this is like a nest of sorrel right here sorry you can walk through there it's, it's thick you know with sorrel in. i got papaya growing i got bananas growing here too you know, and these are all organic stuff. They just grow. I just plant them and they grow sugar cane. But the rain, this is like a swamp. Good yeah. I'm gonna cut some you know, I don't normally cut the tree like that. Because I would leave these little ones to grow, you know, mm. but it's okay. That's how we do it in Jamaica. We It'll grow go. back, right? Yeah. No, um, it might grow back. I have one tree over here from last year. Oh, yeah? But I don't worry about that. I have so much. I'm going to give you one of each. So you have two different cereal. Wow. I think they taste the same, the juice, but you have different color. And if you look this up on Google, they say it's good for cancer, it's good for your skin, and a lot of lot more different things. Yeah. So I'm gonna clip these off for you, holy sir. Yeah, I like to clip them with my my tool here. It's faster. <laughs> yeah. And um, these we go like that. But if you have the um. I have a tool that I like a umbrella stick. I just cut it off and I put it here and just poof, and it punch the seed out. Oh. And you have this round all nice like that, just the same. So you don't use the seed when you make the juice? No. This is what we use. And you boil that and boil it with ginger and then um, you put some sugar and you put a little alcohol like uh, brandy white rum jamaican rum something to keep it. it it keeps it you know and if you're gonna give the kids you don't put stuff like that you give them um the natural one but like you're gonna drink for yourself you can put some um some wine anything in there to keep it you know preserve it yeah and um it's really good it's a christmas this is a christmas thing that we do every christmas Sarri, they sell it really expensive in Jamaica. It's really good. It's good for you. It's really good. I think it's good for enough things than, than we can even explain right now, you know. 
They say it's good for your skin, I think. I don't know. But you leave it there just for overnight and you boil it with ginger. You put ginger in, you know ginger, don't you? Oh, sure. Put ginger in there. And then you sweeten it. You have to sweeten it with, with brown sugar. Yeah. Or syrup or anything like that. And you make your juice. Man, you put some ice. You have a nice glass, you know, you put it on the table. It's nice. Looks good, you know. Yeah. If you look it up on Google, you'll see how, and they tell you how to do it. Everybody do it different. Because you can put a lot of different stuff in there, you know. All different kinds. You can use ginger wine, stone ginger wine. You can use uh, apple tan. So do I have to dry it first or I can boil no, it fresh? No, you boil it fresh like this. It's better when you boil it fresh because okay. it's all, it's got more juice in there. Right. But if it's dry, you just need a handful like that to make a whole heap, like a, like two gallons. Yeah. But trust me, this is good, man. It's very refreshing, you know, cool. When you put some ice in, ice in there. I'm going to dry it and I'm going to have it all year round to drink it. You make your juice like this, it's better than if you buy buy stuff in the supermarket, you know? Like soda and stuff like that. Oh, definitely. Yeah. This is all natural and it's good for you, you know? And it's something traditional. It's not like I don't know what I'm doing, you know? Or I might get sick from using this. <laughs> Nobody never gets sick from using this. It's sorrel, you know? That's what we call it. S-O-R-R-E-L. Sorry. Hey man, you look it up on Google. They have a lot. Some people. So you uh, built this all yourself? Yeah, right here. My friends, my uh, friends from over here, I showed them. They say, man, it's stronger than the house. <laughs> and so the the Collier County approved it? Yeah, it's approved. Um, they, the inspector come by three times and passed with flying colors. You got rebar and all yeah, the, yeah, everything. Yeah. Yeah. And you built these beams yourself? Yeah, I built these beams. Oh. I use uh, ply boards and, yeah. and make a mole like and put steel bars right through there. And then I pour the concrete in and I mix it all by myself, pour it in there. And after a couple of days, I take the board off and then you have this solid, you know, concrete with steel. So I'm going to have a big lana in the back here. I'm gonna put a torch roof, that's what it's called, a torch roof. It's gonna have a big roof, I'm gonna screen it in. And so it's gonna be hurricane proof. I'm gonna have hurricane strap and everything on it. And I'm gonna tile it. Okay. Yeah, tell me sorry, Lord, I have one for you. This is a new invention. It looks <laughs> like a piece of... Uh... Yeah, um, that's what they're doing now. Not just me, I never come up with the idea. But we put it here and we go like that. Oh. See that? Yeah, very and good. And you have the sari all in one. Yeah. Which first time in the older days we used to have to shell them off like this and it's all breaking up. I see, see, yeah. But like...